Hi everyone, I'm Skovia and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very easy bread recipe. This recipe requires few ingredients and the outcome is going to be so good. So this bread recipe also is going to give you a very nice and tender bread. <laughs> tender, yeah. <laughs> so to get started, I'm going to be adding in my water. This is a cup of water and you'll find everything listed in the description box down below. Next, I'm going to add in sugar and my yeast so the water is at not room temperature exactly but it is slightly warm yeah it's lukewarm <laughs> so don't add the yeast in uh, in hot water because the yeast is going to die yeah it's very active so you should add lukewarm water so i'm going to wait for my yeast to bloom for around five to ten minutes when the yeast blooms i'm going to add in my cooking oil then next I'm going to be adding in my dry ingredients. So for my dry ingredients, I'm going to add in some salt. And then next I'm going to add in my flour. Make sure to scrape the bottom of the bowl. And also the amount of flour in the description box you can you can add some more flour if you notice that the dough is super sticky so the recipe calls for two and a half cups it can be three depending on how sticky your your dough is and also if you have a stand mixer yeah you're just okay but if you're going manual like me <laughs> you have to use a lot of strength to to make your dough until it is elastic so i'm going to add a bit more then mix when i'm done I'm going to add in some oil spread the oil around and then I'm going to cover my bowl and let my dough rest and double up in size for around one hour to two hours especially now it is very cold it is it is going to take a while so maybe i'll give my dough two hours it's been around two hours and my dough has doubled up as you can see so what i'm going to do i'm going to punch in and then i'm going to sprinkle my countertop with a little bit of flour And then I'm going to fold in the dough like that. Spread some more flour. Give my dough a little bit of kneading for around one minute. And over here, I have a baking a loaf pan. After kneading for about one minute or two minutes, I'm going to take my dough and tuck, tuck the dough on the bottom side, just like that. And then I'm going to pick my loaf tin and place my dough inside. Just like that. See? I'm going to cover my loaf tin with the kitchen towel and wait for another 20 minutes so that the dough can rise. And then I'm going to bake my bread. Fresh bread. It's been 20 minutes and I've already preheated my oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. 
So make sure before you put your bread into the oven, the oven is preheated. Yeah. So this is how my bread is looking, and you can see, and as you can see, it's already doubling up in size, so it's ready to go into the oven. So I'm going to bake my bread for 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. My bread is ready and it has been cooling in the loaf pan for around 5 minutes and then I transferred to my cooling rack over here. So my bread is very tender, soft and it's so, so, so good. So mine I'm going to be making some French toast tomorrow in the morning and the children are going to enjoy it. So I hope you try out this amazing, amazing bread recipe and yeah, catch you on my next episode.